commercial flights in early 2018. At the first sight, PC-24 is an ordinary business jet, but we know, guys from Switzerland are masters of detail. In the 1990s, Polaris aircraft launched on the market its current main product, the single-engine turboprop aircraft PC-12. Simple in use, economically effective and still reliable and roomy, that plane was very lovely for customers. Wide success of this model significantly improved the financial and reputational positions of the company and after some time, Polaris began to consider options of creating a more advanced and expensive new model. The result of marketing researches and consultations with the operators was quite unusual. Customers needed an aircraft with greater range and speed performance, but still simple in use and saving the ability to work on the airports with short runways. Based on the consolidated package of requirements, in 2007 Polaris launched the new aircraft development program. Initially, the project, being high risky, was not announced. The company invested its own financial resources. So even the customers and dealers of the company knew only that Polaris is creating a new aircraft, not more. The project received the official index PC-24. Polaris engineers realized that required flight performance could not be achieved by using turboprop engines, and for the first time the company decided to use a jet engines. For the new model, they selected the Williams FJ-44 engines. In addition, the aircraft received a unique cockpit control system, as well as new design features that have to make aircraft capable to multiple missions. In May 2013, the PC-24 mock-up was presented to public at the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition eBase, in Geneva. Moreover, the company management claimed that their new plane will not fit into the traditional business jet market. PC-24 retains values of turboprop aircrafts, complementing them with the advantages of the jet technology. In August 1st, year 1291, three Alpine cantons, Schwitz, Uri and Unterwalden, made a sacred oath of eternal alliance. In fact, that was the beginning of the Switzerland Confederation. 723 years later, on August 1st, during the celebration of this historic event, Pilatus officially rolled out the first prototype with P01 index. Soon two more planes joined the test program. Each of three aircrafts was created to conduct their own test programs. The prototype P01 had to determine the flight capabilities. The prototype P02 tested avionics and other onboard systems. And the prototype P03 explored production solutions and made improvements based on the results of the first two jets testing. Flight test program was planned to begin in 2014, but it was as always delayed. The prototype P01 made its maiden flight on May 2015 at Box Airport. It spent nearly 55 minutes in the Swiss sky. In November 2015 the second jet took off. The flight program was rather various. For example, made a transatlantic flight to the US at the cruise speed of 800 km per hour. This performance exceeded all expectations. The third prototype P03 flew in spring 2017. The certification program goes on for two years already and is planned to be finished at the end of 2017. The first commercial deliveries are planned probably at the beginning of 2018. Pilatus PC-24 is twin-engine light business jet. The plane is the next step after the turboprop PC-12 aircraft. The plane is designed for a local and regional flights, as well as it can take off and land on the short and unprepared runways. That is one of its features. To accomplish this task, the PC-24 is equipped with a small swept wing with a very advanced mechanization. It allows to maintain the controlled flight at a minimum speed of 150 km per hour. So during the landing, it has speed which every daring kid on a standard car can reach. The capabilities of the aircraft at this time are unreachable for other jets of its class. PC-24 needs only 820 meters for takeoff and 770 meters for landing. For example, the closest Brazilian Embraer Phenom 300 needs 960 meters for takeoff and nearly 800 meters to stop, and is the best performance of the competitors. In addition, the aircraft can effectively operate on an unprepared and even grass airfields. Due to its capabilities, according to Pilatus calculations, PC-24 is able to fly on more than 21,000 local airports that are not available for other jet airplanes. 
Despite the small size of the aircraft, the fuselage made it possible to create a large for this class passenger cabin, equipped with all modern systems for the comfort in flight. Quality and design don't cause questions. The interior for the PC-24 is designed by BMW Design Works Studio. In addition, the aircraft has a big cargo space, which can be used to increase a cabin size. Potentially, PC-24 can have a few basic configurations. 4 passengers and big cargo compartment, 6 or 8 passengers partially using a cargo space for cabin, 10 people in compacted layout without cargo, and finally, a big cargo compartment without passengers. A special feature of the aircraft is the additional big cargo door. This door opens full access to the cargo compartment and generally to the cabin. Due to the solution, PC-24 can perform the tasks of cargo, medical and special missions aircraft. Other planes of this class don't have such doors, and operators cannot use it in these tasks effectively. The standard front door is too narrow. During the development of a cockpit, Pilatus aimed at maximum simplification of controls. The new complex called the Advanced Cockpit Environment ACE, was developed by Pilatus and Honeywell. The task was reached. PC-24 can fly with a single pilot. PC-24 is equipped with a pair Williams FJ-44 jet engines, created by Williams International in collaboration with Rolls-Royce. Interesting feature of these engines is a quiet power mode, which in economy mode can provide energy to the plane. That feature allowed to abandon the separated auxiliary power unit APU. The engines are mounted on pylons on the fuselage tail section. Such placement minimizes the risk of foreign object damage. It's very important for a plane which will operate on the unprepared airfields. Also, the airframe is protected of this damage, and the landing gear is reinforced and designed to minimize the debris from under the wheels. In 2014, on eBay's exposition, Pilatus concluded contracts for 84 aircrafts. This group should be delivered to customers within the next couple of years. Serial production has already started, and supplies are planned for the beginning in 2018. Pilatus will produce PC-24 for the North and South America's market on its plant in Colorado, US. Also, the Flight Safety International company from Texas will provide trainings for pilots and maintenance personnel for these planes. The company has a fairly large list of potential customers, among them medical and special services of the several countries. All of them are waiting for the official publication of certified flight performance indicators. It will be done soon. During 40 years of the PC-24 program lifecycle, Pilatus plans to deliver over 4000 jets of this model. A big figure, but why not? So, that's the end of our Alpine Meadows rest. I hope it was good. Subscribe and watch other videos. Fast flights and soft landings to you.